Alright, howdy. I'm Mr. Patrick, uh, otherwise known as the Woodshop Cowboy, and I'm about to show you uh, pantographs that we've been making in my classroom and, um, and how I use them. Uh, so, let's get to it. Alright, so uh, let's try this again. Here's one of our completed pantographs that we have in the, uh, in the classroom. It's on a, a small work table that I've, I've uh, moved around over the years. Um, uh, the pantograph is made with four basic pieces of wood, um, two vertical, pe vertical legs, two horizont uh, horizontal legs, and those four pieces are held together in four um, joints, uh, one, two, three, four, and those joints in this case are simply uh, uh, pretty, thin, uh, pretty thin bolts, machine bolts that I had lying around, and I had enough uh, actually, it was a uh, you know 90 cent, 98 cent, um, throw everything in the counter uh, at you type of uh, buy over at uh, Walmart, and you get a bunch of these guys, and they're pretty useful for uh, little projects like this. And you can see down here, this is another pivot joint, and it's uh, this one is uh, though um, goes into the desk itself. So this is actually I can't I can't physically move that and it creates it, what it does is create makes the pantograph be a, um, a one-handed operation instead of a two-handed operation so hopefully you can see I've got a, a letter out here it's an A and uh, I'm just going to copy the A down um, here in the uh, using the pantograph and it's a little tricky we got to make sure that our our pencils on there it's nice and tight and I just follow it. And hopefully you can see this letter show up. At home. And um, you can see that this A is uh, half the size of, of the new A that the pantograph made. So this pantograph can uh, um, uh, blows anything up by about uh, twice its, its starting amount. And uh, with this, I've asked my students to calculate proportions. Um, I've asked my students to uh, do measurement of the drawings they've made. Um, something that they really get kind of weirded out by is how in inaccurate their straight lines look when they're... Um, made uh, enlarged to uh, the nth degree um, and they get really frustrated with themselves at that but it takes a lot of practice to use one of these I'm not saying that the uh, as I say to my kids this is not the easiest lab I've ever given them but it's it's mighty fun and it's mighty fun to play around with it